Good morning to you, class of 2010. I really wanted to express this to you face to face, but in the world of television news, May is ratings month. Plus, we've been extensively covering the massive tornado damage you may have heard about here in Mississippi. For those of you who may not know who I am, I'm Dustin Barnes, a proud 2003 graduate of Jonesboro Hodge High School. I am also the son of the late Terry Cottenham Barnes, who taught here at JH, whom you fondly refer to as Miss Barnes. Your class is very special to me. That's because you are one of the last classes my mom taught before she became ill and passed away in September. If you can think back a few years ago, she taught you English 1. You know, I remember when I graduated from high school, I was looking for this huge graduation present. I remember going to mom asking about my gift, and she said, a gift for what? You're supposed to graduate from high school. This isn't the end. Well, if mom were alive today, that's the same thing she would tell you. The world is so big. Explore it through college, the military, Voltec, or immediately entering the workforce. It's a new day in your lives. One chapter is ending. It's time to write the next one. She would tell you to keep pressing on. You can achieve anything you want. Never, ever give up. And you better make sure those subjects and verbs agree. My mom talked about many of you often. I can remember going out to places with her there in Jonesboro, and many of you would come up to her and speak. It touched me when recently one of you said she motivated you. On behalf of my sister and me, thank you for making our mom's career as an educator rewarding. In keeping with mom's spirit, if there's anything I can do, feel free to let me know. You can get in touch with me. 99% of you are on Facebook. But on a serious note, this is an emotional weekend for us. Our mom would have celebrated her 53rd birthday tomorrow, and of course, Mother's Day is Sunday. We can't give mom the flowers, the jewelry, the perfume, or even the kiss we'd love to give her on those celebrations. This year will be different, but we want to honor mom by giving to a group she loved and deeply cared for her students. I have countless fond memories while here at JH, and I'm sure you do too. I bet you've been reflecting on them over the past few days. Don't ever forget about them. Remember all of the events, the exams, the games, that historic trip to Lafayette, school elections, your parents, friends, and teachers. You didn't always like that person sitting next to you, mom and dad, Miss Combs, Miss Foster, and the rest of the faculty. But I promise you, later on, you'll be so glad you crossed paths with them. And lastly, make a difference in this world. Look behind you. You have so many supporters cheering you on. And in that crowd of cheerleaders, there's a spirit rooting for you all the way. That spirit is Ms. Barnes. Congratulations and best wishes to each of you. And may God continue to bless and keep you.